Here we go. Chapter 7. Don't feed the troll. What does that mean? Well, besides the obvious. Uh-oh. Why are we here again? Oh, God! Okay. What is that? What does this mean? I got a feeling whatever's about to happen, it's gonna be intense. Okay, let's do this thing, Mitzi. I don't even know what's about to happen, but I am super tense right now. Ooh, fish tank. Examine. I don't like the look of that water. There isn't a single fish in the tank. And what are those bottles? What? Uh-oh. Just look at this door. Crazy son of a bitch. That's not gonna stop us. I think there's someone in the kitchen. This is it, this is it! I'm so tense right now. Wait, wait, it's the old man? Are you... Are you Adam? It can't be. Me? No, of course not. I don't have anything to do with all this foolishness. Never have. It's my son. I've told him time and time again, but he never listens. I should have guessed that. Oh, I should have guessed that! I've done my best to protect that boy, you know. I'm all he's got left in the world since his mama died. But it just wasn't enough. Where is he then? Where's Eye of Adam? He's in his room. Where else would he be? He's always in his room, staring at that screen for as long as he can. How very topical! Look, I've made up my mind about this. I want to help you. This mess he's in, it's gone too far. I don't, I, I, I can't be part of this. What are you talking about? Oh, you don't understand. He's watching us. Right now, he can see us on his camera. He's very clever with this stuff. I never got my head around it. Just as much as I needed to, I guess. But not a lot. Give us the key to his room. I want to talk to him. Look, it's a trap. Admiral Akbar he joke goes here. here. And he will kill you. Both of you. But he will not kill me. He won't dare. All these years. I've looked after him well. He owes me everything. It breaks my heart to do this now. But what choice do I have? He left me this. I was supposed to keep it for myself. Oh, shit, but I what? I want you to take it. He won't dare to kill his own father. And I won't let two innocent lives be lost because of him. What is it? Just take the damn thing. There's not much time. Didn't you hear me? He's watching! Take what? What? What's in the box? Oh, uh, what's in the box? Uh, I mean that in the least mimi way possible! What is it, Mrs. A? Oh. It's a shoebox. Obviously, but what's in it? Take it away! Get rid of it! 
He must see that I don't have it anymore. Shall we open it? Yes. Open the box. It's a gas mask? What? Oh, God. Oh, Nick shit! Me. Was the fish tank? We have to get out of here. Quickly. Oh, shit! The fish tank was gonna get- it was gonna mix it's the, the things up! gas mask. He's going to poison us. Yep, I was totally right. And that's gonna empty into the water. The water's gonna oh that's science for you, kids. It's too late. Shit. Oh, shit, shit, shit. No! Stop that, Adam. You're going to kill your father. We'll never make it to the door. That room is filling up with gas too quickly. Put the mask on, Mrs. A. What about you? No, no, I can't. You've got to. This is your only chance. Wait, I still, I, have, I still have one no, candle left, though. I can't let you die. Not like this. Give her. It's my fault that you're here. Give it to Mitzi. Give it to Mitzi. Anyway. And you. You've got to live, Mrs. A. You'll live and you'll be happy again. I'll be, I have one you candle are. left. I'll be fine. You've been a great friend, Mrs. A. Shh. You know what? Sh give it to Mitzi. No. You've got a date, and I'll make sure you turn up for it. I can't. There is no time to argue. I'll be fine. Now. Do it! Holy shit. Adam is gonna get it so bad. I can't even wait. We're gonna give it to him. Now to blow out this last candle and call it a day. Oh. Here we are. Wait, why am I here? What is... What is happening right now? The beginning of the game all of a sudden again? Um. Wait, what? Welcome home, darling. I've been waiting for you. What took you so long? Say what you've got to say and let's finish this. I'm tired of you. Tired of all this madness. I just need to get back. Very well. I'm not planning to keep you long. Let's go inside. I have one last job for you. Why is she showing up now? This there is suspicious. Are still two candles left. Oh, Susan. two. You know how this works. A soul for a soul. Oh, that I only had one. That's good. And that's it. I blow out the last candle, and I'll never have to see you again. Only if you blow out the right one, I'll never bother you again. Isn't that what you want? What do you mean, the right one? But if you choose wrong, it will be your life extinguished forever. Wait, what? Just take a deep breath and do it. But how should I know which one's right? That's the thing, Susan. You can't know that. 
Oh, the hell with in this life, game! You can't always know the consequences before you make a decision. Haven't you learned that yet? That's not fair. Nothing is fair. You opened your heart talking to that doctor, and he butchered you like an animal. Then, those disgusting cannibals, they chop you up and cook you for dinner if you'd let them. And what about the man with the flowers? All that he wanted was to hear you play before he split your skull open. The way your husband treated you, the way your neighbors laughed at you for years just for being different. You did not deserve all that. And yet, it happened. Am I forgetting something? Oh, yes. Of course. Most of all, was it fair that... Shut up! Just shut up, you ugly bitch! Now I know who you really are. Who? All those feelings that I had in me for years. That bitter guilt and self-pity. Oh shit, is she myself, you? And everyone else. You are that miserable illness that's consumed my heart all these years. You, always there, always. Every day I looked at you in the mirror, like a dark cloud I couldn't see through. I let you take control of my life. I believed it was right to feel like this. But not any longer. This ends here. Then Hell blow yes. Out the candle. How about I blow you out? No, refuse everything. No, I won't. I'm done playing your stupid little games. You won't tell me what to do anymore. I am stronger than you. Hell yes. That's my Susan. I can close my eyes and you'll be gone. Blow out the candle. It's time to say goodbye, sister. I'm not gonna miss you. You will never leave this place without me. You need me. We are one. No. Did I do it? Tomato. I did it! You were thinking about a tomato, right? Although the question becomes, if that was something inside of her the entire time, is Susan invincible? I'm just you saying. Mean it was a fruit, silly. <laughs> Who cares? I <laughs> like tomatoes. So do I. But. I hate to disappoint you, but I was really thinking of onions. Why onions? They're the saddest of the vegetables, of course. They make people cry. I... What happened, Mrs. A? I saw you die. And yet, you're here. Alive, like, if nothing's ever happened. Cat lady, no lives! Well, let's put it this way. Everyone knows cats have nine lives. So do cat ladies, apparently. Nice. But this time, I feel there won't be second chances. I'm down to one last life now. I can't afford to waste it. It's a good lesson. Good lesson. You are such a nutter, Mrs. A. <laughs> you are absolutely fucking bonkers. Oh, Mitzi. I'm happy well, I'm to see so you too. Happy to see Yay! You. Never ever do that to me again, all right? I can happily promise you that, Mitzi. Let's this go see it. this guy. His room is through that door. It's time to face the eye of Adam. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. Here we go. What the hell is this? Oh, 
hell no. You're, you're the eye of Adam. That makes a pathetic wheelchair-bound invalid. That makes so much sense. Is this a joke? Do you do you know who I am? Do you know what you've done to me? Oh shit! Um, Tonight it's your turn to die, Mitzi. I'm gonna paint this room with your brains, and I'm gonna watch and smile. I swear to God, I'll do it. Well, nothing to say, nothing at all. Can you not? Aren't you going to beg for your sad little life? I don't think he can. I think. Say something. Anything. Mitzi, where did you get that gun from? It doesn't matter. Please, Mrs. A. This is something I have to do. You are free to leave if you want. You don't have to be a part of it. Just try to understand. Beg for forgiveness, you scum. Mitzi, I don't think you can, I think. What the fuck is wrong with you? You don't believe I'm gonna shoot you, do you? Oh, I've dreamt of this moment for so long. Look at this man, Mitzi. He hasn't twitched a muscle since we entered the room. I think he's paralyzed. That's... That's impossible. He's lying to us. He's faking it. Do something. Talk for God's sake. I need you to answer me. I need to know. He won't answer you. He can't talk. Then... How did he post all that stuff online? What the... I think I know how. See that little device on his left eye? I've heard about these. It's a controller. It seems the only part of his body he can move is his eyeball. The eye of Adam. controller connected to the computer tracks its movement, allowing him to... What? That's ridiculous. How do you even know such things? I'm a nurse? I've seen these before. Well, I've seen eye-controlled wheelchairs, but there's no reason why it wouldn't work with a computer. Jesus. And that's all he had. That would explain the whole eye of Adam thing. And he wanted to die so he badly. Really is just the eye. That 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 he but transfer transference no, psychology that talk. Change anything. He must die. He deserves nothing more. No, no, there's gotta there's gotta be a better way than just to kill him. Mitzi, don't become Susan! She's a badass, but you're so damn cool! He's gonna be like, do it. Watch it. Watch this happen. Cause he wants to die. See? I knew it! He wants to die! The best thing to do for this asshole is not what? kill him. You arrogant shit! I will fucking do it! His Just dad's no, thing. Mitzi. His dad's one dead. Thing. Bash the computer. His he'll have nothing then. Why did you make Jack kill himself? Oh, we're getting an answer. Lowest answer ever. Pull the trigger, you'll find out. Fine. It'll be a pleasure. 
No, wait, you'll never find Ready out. To die, scumbag. Look at the. No, 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 you never said you never said you wanted to kill him, Mitzi. Mitzi, don't go down the same path as Susan. You lied to me. You never said you wanted to kill him. Now, wasn't that quite obvious? What did you think I wanted to do? Have a coffee with him? Chat about the weather or, or politics? For God's sake, I'm here because this son of a bitch needs to die. If I don't kill him now, he'll just carry on and more innocent people will lose their lives. Do you really want that? Because I don't. This isn't the way to do it. Just turn the computers off. Think about for a second when Jack really want this. Yeah, I mean, just turn. That's what I'm saying the entire. Just shut his computers off. What is he gonna do? Nothing. This isn't the way to do it. Just turn these computers off instead. No, he doesn't deserve to live after what he's done. And who are you to serve justice like this? Do you really want to kill an unarmed, paralyzed man? Why are you doing this, Mrs. A? I thought you were my friend. I am, That's I am. exactly why I'm doing this. Even if we survive the explosion, how will you be able to live with yourself? I won't have very long to live with it. I'll manage just fine. Look, would Jack really... Would... Without his father, he's harmless. Right? I'm saving what Jack really want this. That's my that's my last that's my last ditch effort. His father's not even around. He's Without got his he's father, got no one. He's harmless. He was the one who supplied him with all this technology. He fulfilled his every single wish. I know this guy's rotten bad. There's no excuse for what he did. But he will be punished for it. Trust me. They'll put him in some stinking nursing home. He'll live his life like a vegetable, stuck to bed. He'll have time to think about what he's done. That's and he'll never see a computer screen again. Pretty awful punishment. Isn't that enough? He said, do it. He wants to die and I want to kill him. He wants to, yeah. I'm gonna go with it. I'm going with it. He wants us all to die. Can't you see that? Isn't that what he's been preaching? A joint suicide. That's why he wants you to shoot him. So we can all get blown to pieces. His final act. The work of his life. Are you really going to give him that satisfaction? Remember what you said about feeding the troll? That's exactly what you're going to do if you kill him now. Oh, it's the title of the uh, chapter. Maybe you're right. Don't feed the trolls. You should leave, Mrs. A. I never want you to get hurt. But I'm not going away without this fucker dead. Even if that means I die too. Mitzi! Mitzi, have you lost your mind? You're going to sacrifice your life for this scum? He's... A parasite! A worthless, evil piece of shit! It's not like I've got anyone to live for, is it? Me? What? What about your mother? Your family? Susan! She's dead! Yeah, what? I lied. I always lied. I grew up in an orphanage. My family never wanted to know me. The only person that cared about me was Jack, and he's dead. Yeah, happy now? So get the fuck out of here and let me do what I got to do. I care about you, see? I care about you. Do it for me. That's some super best friend stuff right there, Mitzi. That's my girl. That's my girl. Come on, mate. It's been a long day. Let's go home. Pull the power on his shit and let's go. We've won. 
Have we really? Trust me. I know we have. How? I'm the cat lady. From I now on, always win. I win every single yeah! day. Yeah! Yeah, cat lady! That's a satisfying victory right there. F that guy. I think we grew a lot. I think Susan and I grew a it's lot together. Me. Oh. Again, talking about my ordinary little life, as usual. I'm still surprised anyone would want to read this at all. The ramblings of a cat lady. I met some people. We go out sometimes. And I'm not alone anymore. It turned out there were others who felt like I did. I talked to them. Tried to help. blog. I must confess, yesterday was bad. It was one of those days when you feel like you're back in the past, and all the good stuff that happened was just a dream. But I woke up today, feeling better. Maybe I can never get rid of it. This invisible illness maybe it will always be living somewhere deep inside me asleep waiting and when it'll hit me it'll hit me hard oh no I forgot about Mitzi Oh, even the happy ending sad. <gasps> what? But if there's one thing Mitzi taught me, it's that you have to pick yourself up and carry on. It doesn't matter that life isn't fair. It doesn't matter that you make mistakes. You fall and rise again. And speaking of Mitzi, well, I don't know what happened. I guess I never will. But against all odds, she just got better. Maybe it's because of that last candle. Or some other things I did that year. I don't really care. She's still here. That's all that matters to me. That's all that matters to me too! Every time I visit my daughter's grave, she comes too. We don't have to talk. It's just nice to have somebody there with me. Worlds full of liars, traitors, cowards. But every now and then... You meet someone like Mitzi, who will just smile at it all. Now, I've forgiven the world and myself too. I teach myself to smile again. One day I'll get there. I know I will. Even if it takes me not nine, but nine hundred lives. Oh, that ending. Oh, that ending. I have the biggest smile on my face right now. Anyway, guys, that is the cat lady. I am blown away. I did not even expect it to be as good as it was. Uh, wow. That was a thing. I don't know how I saved Mitzi. I figured her illness was terminal. But I don't even care. I don't even care right now. Was it because of that candle? I don't even know. Uh, there are multiple endings to this game, so maybe I lucked out? I don't know what happened. I don't even care. 
I don't even care what happened. That was a lot of fun, but uh, since it's such a good ending, I'm gonna just say, if you guys wanna see the other ones, go play it yourself. Shoot that dude in the face. You cannot kill some of the, the, the parasites. There's all sorts of different things you can do, so I wonder how that affects the ending. I don't know, but I would assume you can go pick it up and it should be uh, available for you. Anyway, thank you for watching, and as always, to be continued. Actually, I want to see the credits. Oh, the cat lady, Lindsay Frost, hello. Brittany Williams, that's my girl. Brittany, marry me. I love you. I love you. Anyway, thank you for watching, and as always, to be continued. We're gonna call this one the future. the future. UFO Commander, we are the future. We're gonna take you to the future. Then we're gonna get to the future. Where everyone talks like they're from the future. UFO Commander, we are the future. We're gonna take you to the future. Then we're gonna get to the future. Where everyone talks like they're from the future. Hello, our old four. Me, Josh Cox, the number one out of the plan. The me, me, the tip top shape. I'm swell shape. And I'm gonna make a fortune for my ass for more. Shut the balls up! UFO Commander, we are the future. We're gonna take you to the future. Then we're gonna get to the future. Where everyone talks like they're from. Shut the balls up!